Tonight, we are learning more now about the man arrested for murder in one of the tri-state's biggest cold cases. That is John Carter. He's now charged in the death of Caitlin Markham. Markham disappeared in 2011. WCPO 9's Madeline Audley is at the Butler County Courthouse with what we've learned about him. That name might sound familiar to you. That's because Carter was engaged to Caitlin when she went missing more than a decade ago. Her loved ones hope this marks the beginning of the end. This has been a long time coming. Dave Markham's been waiting more than a decade to find out who killed his daughter, Caitlin. It's still hard to imagine after 12 years that um, here we are. Now he's one step closer to answers. Caitlin's fiance, John Carter, has been charged with her murder 12 years after she disappeared. WCPO interviewed Carter days after Caitlin went missing. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. I, I just want to find Caitlin and, and celebrate her birthday with her and go to Red Lobster like she was planning. J. Ryan Green interviewed him too. Four or five times in person. He's a former private investigator who worked on the case. He was definitely rehearsed um, when, when I spoke with him. Green says Carter forgot key details. John would tell you what John wanted you to know. And then I don't remember that. I <clears throat> think we all saw it coming. Um, but when was the big uh, question? Last month, detectives made their first arrest in the case. Jonathan Palmerton was charged with perjury. He's one of Carter's close friends. The arrest came after detectives searched a home associated with Palmerton and one associated with Carter. Uh, once I saw John Palmerton was arrested, um, I, I, in the back of my mind, and I was like, well, some big coming. The long road is still far from over, but Markham believes this will bring him closer to the end. He stole a lot. A lot for me and a lot from her friends and her family and her life. We're still waiting to learn when Carter will first appear in court. Prosecutors told me it's likely in the next few days. For now, at the Butler County Courthouse, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.